Jill about spotting and treating fleas and worms. And so the whole point was we wanted to chroma kitty first, but we have Natalie here. Also, May, I just ran into your husband with your beautiful dog, too. And so chroma has run away and she is no longer with us, but she had an issue with worms, right? Right. Yeah, I got a phone call from you guys, a panicked phone call that there was little white worms coming out of her tushy and she had fleas. So we quickly uh, gave you some suggestions. And if you look over here on the table, there's some great stuff out on the market. But you know that I like natural medicine, so of course I'm always going to try to recommend the more natural things. Mm -hmm. But if you have a flea infestation, you may need some chemicals. Check with your veterinarian. The key is to make sure your pet is healthy. Mm -hmm. When your pet's healthy, you have a less likely chance of them becoming flea infested. So feeding a species appropriate diet, making sure they have lots of good vitamins as well is very helpful. So if you look over here, this Profender is a nice uh, topical that will catch also roundworms, tapeworms, um, and it's a once a month topical treatment uh, for your pet as well. So that way you don't have to pill them anymore with those nasty tasting tapeworm medicines, okay? Um, and then there's other topicals as well. Not all of them catch tapeworms, so read the boxes. Make sure to check again with your veterinarian. I like the natural, I, like, I make a natural flea spray with just water, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of neat oil mm -hmm. and sometimes for the dogs we'll put catnip a few drops of catnip you can go online and see those recipes or call the office we'll give them to you also a good flea bath I like to use my natural shampoo for that things that have geranium in them are very helpful and beneficial or eucalyptus again check with your vet about the kitty cats um, and then around spotting around your house I, li I like to recommend the diatomaceous earth sometimes salts or baking soda will actually dry the exoskeleton of the flea mm -hmm. as well so again, there's tons and tons of things out there. A lot of people think garlic and brewer's yeast is good. You want to make sure brewer's yeast can be actually damaging if they have yeast infections. So check with your vet again on that. And also garlic needs to be fresh. And there's a lot of controversy about that. So there are recipes for safety if you're going to use natural flea product. For first time pet owners, what are some signs that show that your pet has either fleas or worms? Well, itching, of course, and people get bit by them as well. The average flea only stays on the, on the person for about three to seven minutes, but you can get a lot of rashes, usually at the base of the tail, a lot of itching and licking, and then it turns into a staph infection a lot of times for your pet. So you want to make sure to check their skin and bathe them on a regular basis. Perfect. And how can we get a hold of you? Uh, my number is 916-989-0738, and I'm in Orangevale, and you can give us a call. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dr. Jill, for all the tips and the good tips that we can even make some stuff at home and all what we can do to keep our pets safe. I'll send this back on over to you, Matt.